Do you know what are the financial secrets that the rich know and prefer to keep secret? In this video, I will reveal to you the seven rules of money that the wealthy do not want you to know. And I recommend that you stay until the end because I am sure that the last rule will leave you with your mouth open. In a world where money is a powerful but often misunderstood tool, understanding these rules can mean the difference between wealth and poverty. So, get ready to discover the rules of money that can change your life. Rule of time. The first crucial rule of money focuses on the importance of taking advantage of time as an ally for financial growth. Time is an invaluable resource in finance as it can significantly enhance the value of your money over time. Money has the ability to grow over time thanks to the power of compound interest. Understanding how to use time to your advantage allows you to maximize your financial resources and build wealth consistently. Starting investing as early as possible gives you a crucial advantage, as each additional year of investing increases the growth potential of your assets. Compound interest is a powerful force that allows your investments to generate profits on previous profits. The longer you hold your investments, the greater the effect of compound interest on the growth of your wealth. Additionally, long-term investments tend to offer higher returns and less volatility. By having a longer time horizon, you can ride out market fluctuations and make significant profits. Utility Rule The second fundamental rule of money focuses on understanding how to earn income by providing value or utility to others. In the financial world, money is often the direct result of offering products or services that satisfy people's needs or wants. To better understand this rule, it is essential to recognize that money flows to those who can solve problems or add value in the lives of others. By identifying opportunities to offer practical or innovative solutions, you can consistently generate revenue. Let's look at some practical examples. Professional services, professions such as consulting, financial advice, graphic design, computer programming, and legal services are examples of how people can earn money by providing specialized skills and useful knowledge. Innovative products. Creating unique and useful products that meet a specific market demand can also be an effective way to generate income. For example, innovative technological devices, practical tools, or wellness products can become solid sources of income. Solutions to everyday problems. Identifying common problems in daily life and offering creative solutions can open up new business opportunities. From mobile apps to express delivery services, effective solutions to real problems can generate significant benefits. The key to applying this rule is to be attentive to the needs and wants of the target market and develop skills or products that solve those problems effectively. By providing genuine value, you become an indispensable part of the market and will attract the constant flow of money to you. Privacy Rule the third fundamental rule of money focuses on the importance of protecting financial privacy to preserve security and peace of mind in financial matters. Maintaining financial privacy is essential for several reasons. On the one hand, personal security, since it avoids exposing yourself to fraud or identity theft by protecting sensitive information related to your finances. On the other hand, it provides peace of mind knowing that your data and assets are safe and secure. To improve financial privacy management, Maintain confidentiality, avoid sharing sensitive financial information in public places or with unauthorized people. Regularly review your account statements and transactions to detect and resolve any suspicious activity. Lastly, avoid disclosing sensitive financial information on social media or other unsecured channels. Rule of Expectation the fourth fundamental rule of money focuses on how our expectations and beliefs can significantly influence our finances and our overall financial success. Our beliefs and expectations play a crucial role in our financial decisions and the way we manage our money. Abundance mindset versus scarcity mentality. People with an abundance mindset tend to see opportunities rather than obstacles, which can lead to more calculated risk-taking and more positive financial outcomes. Some tips to cultivate an abundance mentality can be, for example, practice gratitude, recognize and appreciate what you already have in your financial life, which can foster a positive and abundant mindset. If you're like most people, you've probably convinced yourself that achieving a certain salary or goal will bring you happiness. We've all had that internal conversation and visualized what it would be like to get to that point. However, what you will discover when you reach that number is that you will never feel completely satisfied and will probably end up raising that number even higher. For example, 
If your goal is to make $30,000 a year and you think you'll be happy achieving it, the reality is that once you reach that goal, you'll probably think it would be much better to make $40,000 a year than $50,000 and so on. Does this mean you shouldn't set financial goals? Not in any way. However, postponing happiness for the future is a big mistake and unfortunately many of us continue to make that same mistake day after day. So why is it important to recognize this? Because many of us fail to internalize these thoughts and instead, we continue to raise our ideal number, creating a conflict between our expectations when achieving the goal and the reality we face, which leads to frustration and dissatisfaction. Imagine you get your dream job and they pay you $3,000 a month. You feel very happy. However, after a year of excellent performance and experience, you are still earning $3,000 a month, but you feel like you should now be earning $4,000 a month. Then suddenly your expectation is that you should be earning $1,000 more a month. And when this doesn't happen, resentment sets in. This $1,000 difference is what's called your expectation gap. And as long as it exists, you'll never be completely happy. Believe it or not, there are people who earn $6,000 a month and are not happy because they think they should earn $10,000 a month. On the other hand, there are people who earn $2,000 a month and feel wonderfully good because they never expected to earn more than $1,500 pesos a month. To be truly happy with your finances, you need to close that expectation gap. You can achieve this by striving for more or simply wanting less. The choice is completely yours, but you surely won't find happiness until you make that decision. Therefore, it is important to set realistic and achievable financial goals aligned with your beliefs and values to keep you motivated and focused on your path to financial success. Use visualization techniques to imagine yourself achieving your financial goals and creating the financial life you want. For example, you can make a painting in your room with cutouts of images of what you would like your life to be like in the future. Thus, by seeing these images every day, your motivation will remain high. Before moving forward, if you find this information valuable, I encourage you to leave a like and subscribe so you can continue enjoying more content like this. Let's move forward. Minimum Savings Rule – Why You Should Invest in Assets Instead of Saving The fifth fundamental rule of money challenges the traditional idea of constant savings and promotes the importance of investing in assets rather than simply stashing money in savings accounts. Simply saving in bank accounts may have limitations due to low interest rates. In fact, by keeping large amounts of money in savings accounts, you are benefiting banks, which use those funds to lend and earn interest. Meanwhile, your savings can lose value over time due to inflation. Instead of simply saving, the key is to invest in assets that generate income and increase in value over time. Some reasons to invest in assets include Capital growth Assets such as stocks, real estate, or other investment instruments have the potential to increase in value and generate significant returns over the long term. Inflation protection well-selected assets can act as a safeguard against inflation, preserving and increasing the value of your money over time. Protection Rule The sixth fundamental rule of money focuses on the importance of protecting your assets against risks and losses. Protecting your financial assets is essential to maintaining financial stability and securing your financial future. Doing this can help you, for example, in risk mitigation. Financial markets can be volatile and subject to fluctuations. Protecting your assets helps you mitigate risks and avoid significant losses. Emergency support. Having financial protection measures provides you with financial support in case of unforeseen events such as illness, accidents, or loss of employment. Some methods to protect your assets are, for example, investment diversification. Spread your investments across different asset classes and sectors to reduce the risk of concentrated losses. Contracting insurance. Make sure you have adequate insurance coverage, including health insurance, life insurance, home insurance, and other relevant insurance based on your needs. Estate planning. Develop a solid estate plan that includes strategies for asset protection and efficient inheritance management. By implementing effective financial protection strategies, you can safeguard your assets and ensure greater financial stability over time. Rule of Obligation Prioritize financial freedom and flexibility 
The seventh fundamental rule of money highlights the importance of avoiding excessive financial commitments, especially in the form of possessions such as real estate or luxury cars, which can limit your flexibility and financial freedom. Accumulating too many possessions can involve significant financial commitments, which in turn can reduce your ability to make free and flexible decisions in the future. Labor flexibility. By minimizing the financial obligations associated with expensive possessions, such as a large house or multiple vehicles, you will have more freedom to adapt to job changes or pursue new career opportunities in other cities. Less financial stress. Reducing the number of possessions that require large monthly payments can help reduce financial stress and allow you to enjoy a more balanced and peaceful life. Live below your means. Adopt a lifestyle that is below your financial means, which will allow you to save more and have more margin to face unforeseen events. In short, the rule of obligation reminds us of the importance of prioritizing financial freedom and flexibility by avoiding accumulating possessions that create significant financial commitments. By taking a conscious, balanced approach to material possessions, we can ensure greater financial autonomy and a fuller, more satisfying life. Thank you for joining us on this journey of the seven money rules. I hope these rules have inspired you to take control of your finances and adopt habits that lead you to financial success. Which of these rules did you like the most and why? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with someone who might also find it helpful. Thank you for watching.